Alright, welcome back. So let's go straight to what we have here. The first thing is to open a PHP tag. Sorry. Sorry, I'm not. Um, close it. Now we've opened and closed. Now we need to make a connection. The first thing we are going to do before we start doing anything at all is to first include our connection file in it. Now we are going to include our data. Uh, sorry, our connection file, which can be uh, seen connection.php. Now at the back, you use a semicolon. Sorry, I'm sorry, a semicolon. Now, if you want to write a comment, you use a backward slash, two backward slash. Then you can say, This is where we make a connection good now once you're through with this the next thing is to use an if statement that means to check if that means whenever the um the major thing that will initiate uh action here is the submit button so that is why we're going to make use of this name make sure the name is correct and uh, now there's uh, this command which you're going to use set now post since we're using post now if you want to know more about all these things i advise you to uh, you know check uh, check uh, w3 schools and you will learn more about them now sorry register good now if it said is now you open a parenthesis you close good now we're going to enter some values here but before we move on please let's kindly check if we have made any error or not okay okay let's make our this notifies our action initiated initiated through the submit button good now once we've done that now we're going to make some variable declaration some variable declaration here now if you want to read more about uh, variables variables are those entities you can store some values in uh, which can be called for later now you can go online and read more about them now you got to make sure we assign some uh, variables to each other that means we are saving the values of them inside each one now now I'll tell you where this is very useful now the name we give to uh, inside the, the database the one we have here let's go straight to our next or uh, yeah you can see our structure we have name this is what we are making reference to here now name that means any value entered inside this register given name here should be stored inside the for uh, the segment or the column where we have name here so that is what it means now you do it for the four variables we have of uh, the four um html forms um entities we have now now use a name i'm taking it slowly so that you can get it one after the other sorry post now you need this you need this and the end to close it now the next one is gonna be uh what use a name good and that um, you uh, user uh, user email yeah equals uh, this sorry good this at the end of both this username email Now the next one is gonna be password 
um, this at the end you put this good now after this we are true now these are the four things we are trying to you know assign to each other now the, the next one is to make validation now what does validation is to check for errors now why are we validating sometimes it's let's say for example you just click on the submit uh, button without feeling anything there must be something that will let you know that sorry kindly enter your email address can you do this can you do that so now what we're about doing next is uh, validation now I'm gonna use some if statements and if statements are conditional statement that means we have we have several you know um, uh, uh, conditions that that can that means we have different occasions like have you eaten if you haven't eaten what do you want to eat if it is if it is this how much helps that so that's how it works so you can read more about this on w3 schools and other um directories online now let's move now what make sure if if this is equal 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 nothing that means if the entity's enter is nothing you do this that is now anything you type inside this parenthesis is the action you are trying to uh, initiate echo echo this now we're going to make use of our uh, script we're going to make use of our javascript script a lot script a lot check for errors please good now once we through this we need to close our script if i'm correct yeah correct now you use a semicolon at the back now and it will return you back also to the same page by using this script sorry open tag scripts close tag script now the next uh, thing we are going to do so window window that means it should open the same page for you again open window open um, this window open this good after this we are need a comma and this as well and after you true close the scripts now Remember to close your larger parenthesis on the the signs. Now, what we have here is uh, that means it should take you back to where you came from, and uh, you should open it on the same page self. Now, once you do that, you will definitely get what you uh, want here. Now, you can choose to do that for every one of them. We just need to change some things. Uh, sorry, we need to exit. Sorry, exit, exit, exit. Good. That is the semicolon. Good. Now we are good to go here. Now what we need to do next is uh, copy these. We want to make sure everything is entered uh, correctly. Now you need to change these. Um, yeah, name you need to change this to uh, user. Sorry, I'm in need of E here. User name, it's nothing. Do the same thing for this. If this If this next one here username user email user email and the user password 